I was born and raised in East Nashville, and I dropped out of school a little bit earlier, and uh, had a child, and got married, and uh, that's what brought me to Smith County. And I moved here in 1974, and then in 1983, I'd worked at a lot about my age to get my first job. So, uh, and then I uh, worked at a couple factories, and then 1983, this was an opportunity to come open that that would kind of benefit me, so that's when we started doing this. When, when I first bought Brenda's, uh, when we first opened, we had like two people working a shift, and now sometimes we have four, and we could use five people sometimes. I think here in a couple of days we're going to be needing six, so, uh, and when I first bought it, uh, we've changed a lot of things through the years. We used to have, we got indoor plumbing now, so when we first bought it, you had to get a key and go outside and go to the restroom. So uh, we've replaced the floor a couple times and put new walls and tables and we try to keep it updated throughout the years. But one benefit to owning the restaurant over the years, I've had we've had three generations, me, my daughter, and my granddaughter, all have worked together. We kind of call it, make a joke about it being our um, family reunion time just about every day. So that's been a big help. All the pictures on the wall, people like to come in and enjoy looking at all the pictures. And we, I've actually had customers bring me in little signs from different places that they visit for me to hang up. And uh, we've got them kind of displayed everywhere. So Some of our best selling menu items are, uh, we have a chuck wagon. I've had some people, have one lady that drives all the way from Lafayette just to get it because it's kind of an older item. And most people today don't even know what a chuck wagon is. Mm -hmm. And then we do a lot of hamburger steaks. And uh, we do quite a few chicken strips, and the burgers, grilled chicken salads, milkshakes, hot fudge cakes. I always tell anybody if they can explain it, I will cook it if we have it. So we have a lot of fried pies. Over the years since I've been here for the past 34 years, I've seen a lot of restaurants come and go. It's not an easy job. Everybody told me when McDonald's opened or Hardee's or something like that that I wouldn't be here, but. Everybody said I wouldn't make it, but 34 years, and I've made it this far. Well, we've had a few famous people come in during the period that I've been here. We've had uh, Lamar Alexander when he walked across the state of Tennessee in his checkered shirt. He came in to visit us one day, and we've had, uh, see, Ronnie Stoneman. She's been in with us, and Jim and Dan Seals, and then uh, we've had uh, Katie Hoss, and uh, Marty Stewart's come in with us one day, so. I couldn't hardly believe he was here. I had to drive back out one day to see. I thought they were lying to me. So, and uh, Richard McDonald of uh, Lone Star, he's been eat, eat, eat with us. The plan is to have no plans. So, uh, just whatever, mow the yard, you know. I'll probably go spend a couple of weeks on the beach. And not be in a hurry. Anything I have to do, I'm going to take my time doing it. One more thing I'd like to say before this is all over, I would like to thank all my customers for over the years to, for their support and their kindness. A lot of you have turned into like family members. And uh, when I close up for vacation, you fuss at me while I'm gone, but you always come right back after the four week trip. And um, I would just like to thank each and every one of you for all the support you've shown me through the years. And also all the employees who worked here over the past 34 years, I couldn't have done it without them either. So, if you've ever worked here, thanks a million.